Shalom, this is Rabbi Sachs, continuing with Maimonides, the Rambam's list of the positive mitzvot. We're holding mitzvah number 63. If you wish to see the prior 62 um, recordings and short instructions, um, lessons, I should say, um, you can find it at thechaisenter.com, www.thechaisenter.com forward slash academy and then you choose project 613 today's mitzvah is that there's a biblical command to follow the correct protocols of the burnt offering now there were different types of sacrifices offered in the in the in the temple the burnt offering is is um is a very interesting one is because it was the only one that was wholly burnt. Nothing was given to the priests that offered it, and no part of it was given to the donor who offered it to God. All the other sacrifices, the, the either the either the priest, the Kohenim ate, or the, the owner ate, etc. Um, this one was wholly burnt. And you could choose to give an Ola, as it was called, you can choose to give an ola. Some people say an ola is if you, it's a really a sin offering in thought. If you, if one thought of committing a trespass, doing something wrong, then you should offer up an ola. But, but really there's no, for thought, you can't really um, exact punishment. It's only action or correction, I should say. I hate the word punishment. So what lesson though, what lesson can we learn from this offering? So, I believe that it's very powerful. We, we live in a world of quid pro quo. We live in a world where you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. We all live it, right? Washington, is, it, it's their oxygen, but we all live it to some extent. There's no question. Even, even raising money for charity, you know, so a raffle or can I name the, the, the classroom or the building or the this or the that, there's always something um, in return. When somebody does something for somebody else and it's wholly altruistic, that is comparable, akin to an Ola sacrifice. Can you imagine the donor offering up this $300 animal, whatever it costs, all right? And it's wholly burnt, nothing. But, it, but the, why does he do it? Does it because he wants to a carbon, an offering is to get closer to God. That's why it does it. That's why we, that's the lesson that we should learn is that not everything we do should be um, for, for, for us to calculate. We should do things on, on an altruistic level without any expectations of any, anything coming to us in return. God bless.